Hi everybody, Anwin Avalon, Water Witch and Water Priestess here. It has been a really, really long time since I have created a video. Uh, truth be told, I have been busy, I've been teaching, I've been creating classes, um, book stuff, writing stuff, lots and lots of stuff. So I figured I'd do just a really quick check-in. Um, tell you about a couple things that are coming up this week that I hope that you can join um, and uh, go from there. So first thing is community ritual um, on Instagram. I am hosting a community ritual this week. Uh, actually, well, it, it starts this week. It ends next week. Um, I will be collecting the names of anybody that needs healing. Um, so basically um, in March, all of March was um, the Instagram challenge hashtag water magic path and every day was a different prompt and the very last day was healing and that was actually yesterday and it's kind of hard to think about healing when there's so much going on right now of course healing is what's needed we need to heal as like humanity um, people need health healing, emotional healing, spiritual healing. There's so many, uh, so many different types of healing out there. And I was just really kind of struggling with what I could present in this last image that would resonate with healing and with what's going on in our time. And I came to the conclusion that the best uh, thing to do was a community ritual. I had done a community ritual uh, this past fall, a dark goddess community ritual, um, and so I'm kind of modeling it after that one. Um, I have, oh, here we go, um, and let's see, here we go. So I have a bunch of birthday candles, um, which are perfect, so everybody that joins is going to be getting a birthday candle um, as their actual uh, candle that's lit, um, as well as their name added to the ritual. So if you have, a, if you would like to join, if you have the names of someone that would like to join or just be included in this, um, feel free to post a comment below or send me a DM on Instagram, which you can find me at Anwin Avalon. And of course, my email, which is watersofavalon at gmail.com. So feel free to send me um, information of loved ones or anybody that needs healing um, to that, uh, to any of those places, and I'd be happy to add them. So I started collecting names yesterday and today, and we will finalize it on the full moon. Um, the candle itself, you can read in the actual description on Instagram, but it's a blue candle to align with not only water, but the healing colors of blue. Blue is the color that is often corresponding in magical practices with water. Um, it has been blessed in different waters. Um, I don't think I put this on the, on the Instagram, but Sulis's uh, water, her altar's right here, water sits on there. Um, after the candle was finished, I blessed the candle in Sulis's water and this water right here, which was given to me by another priestess. It's a blend of eco-friendly glitter, quartz, rose water, um, and full moon water. Um, and I think that she said that that was from the 2009 Cancerian full moon. Um, but I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, so I used that and then I used Sulis's water from her temple and um, and Sulis if you don't know she's a Celtic goddess of healing um, and after that then I oiled the candle in a Sulis anointing oil and then dressed it with an herbal healing blend um, a goddess uh, blend and um, I finished it off by putting it in a sand tray with healing sigils uh, drawn all around and citrine. Um, and uh, so once all the names are collected, each of the candles will be added to the tray and the, they will be lit off the main candle for healing and added to the tray. And then I will go into 
um, communion with Sulis, and um, I will be offering each of these names up to her and asking for the healing that they need, whether that is physical, emotional, spiritual, um, or just a sense of like calm, grounding energy, because um, we're in a very um, tumultuous time, you know, I feel like the waves are kind of coming faster and uh, we're getting hit with a lot more energetic uh, pulses and not all of them are good right now. So anyways, if you would like to join in that, please uh, follow me on Instagram at Anwin Avalon and I will get you added. Um, the other thing is just a reminder, especially if you are stuck at home every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, I am online um, on Instagram live stream. Again, you can find me there at Anlin Avalon. All you have to do, because I can't actually give you a link to the live stream, all you have to do is follow me on Instagram and be online at 11 o'clock and it will pop up a little thing that says Anlin Avalon is live and then you can click on it and join. Um, so free readings every week. We do um, an affirmation card or kind of just a general card to get us started. I usually have a topic. Today I talked a lot about the community ritual as well as the winner of the um, hashtag water magic path challenge in March, which was Ocean Dreams Reiki. Um, I actually didn't pick the winning image. I had my son do it because it was way too hard. There were so many good ones that I, I struggled. So I had my son pick it and um, he picked a wonderful one and I thought it was very uh, telling because it has wisdom. There's a card that has wisdom in it and I think that that's something right now that the world can really use. Um, other things. Um, most events have been canceled. So right here is where I would usually insert, oh, I'm dancing at this restaurant and dancing at this restaurant, uh, you know, I have this particular performance, but everything's been canceled. Um, I had multiple shows in April that I was supposed to be in, canceled. Um, and some of the other projects for dance that I've been working on also canceled. So that does give me a little bit more time to uh, work on projects here. And um, so hopefully I'll have some new stuff out for you guys soon. The um, last thing that I wanted to remind you of is April 5th. So just a few days from now is the last day to sign up. And that is going to be the launch of the Water Priestess, uh, the second spiral of the beginning Water Priestess course, the Well Maiden. Um, the s intermediate level, will take place after that, uh, after this particular spiral has completed. And so we've got the Well Maiden that spiraled in the fall, and we've got the Well Maiden that's spiraling now in the spring, and then both groups will have an opportunity to move into the intermediate course um, when this second spiral is finished. Um, let's see, anything else? Oh, blogs. Um, I run the blog over a Pathios blog called The Water Witch, um, and I have been dropping blogs. There is water and sim symbolism, or symbology in water. There is um, water symbology in the tarot. There's a mermaid bath for stress relief. Um, and I've got a couple other things that are mostly written that I should be getting ready to send out soon. Um, and if you haven't heard the great news, um, The Way of the Water Priestess, which is my second book, um, will be released this winter. Um, and it is all about walking the water priestess path. It's a guidebook on how to get started. If you're already a water priestess, I think that it'll be great to support your path. Um, and, uh, it's written in a way that's for anybody. I didn't stick to one particular culture or one particular, um, uh, style of magic, witchcraft or shamanism or priestess. Um, work or anything like that. It is a hand. It's a handbook for people of the ma water magic path to be able to walk the water magic path. Um, so it's actually already pre-ordered. Uh, you can pre-order. Excuse me on Amazon um, anytime that you'd like. It is called the Way of the Water Priestess. And if you're showing up on my channel for the first time, I also have the book um, The Water Witch. Uh, nope. <laughs> That's 
my blog. I have um, the first book that I wrote is called Water Witchcraft, Magic, and Lore from the Celtic Tradition. So this was just a really quick update, you guys. Um, I'm sorry that I have been away. Um, I have, I tend to dive into projects and like hyper focus on them. And so I'm not always able to be consistent on here, but I'll post as much as I can. So I hope you guys are doing well. Stay home, stay safe, stay healthy.